When it comes to verifying the phase sequence or rotation of three-phase circuits, Martindale have a number of solutions. By far the best solutions from a safety point of view are the battery-operated PSI 4000 and PSI 4300. These are termed as non-contact testers, as the insulated clips work by induction and can take a reading through the insulation of each phase conductor, so reducing the risk of coming into contact with live parts. It really is as simple as connecting the high-quality colour-coded clips in the L1, L2 and L3 order and turning the instrument on. A buzzer provides an audio indication of correct sequence. The only difference between these two phase sequence indicators is that the PSI 4000 provides a correct indication for clockwise sequence as used in the building facilities industry, while the PSI 4300 provides a correct indication for anti-clockwise sequence as used, for example, in power utilities. Both of these devices will work on uninsulated conductors as well. They also have bright LEDs to show not just the direction of sequence, but also whether each line conductor has a voltage between 75 volts and 1000 volts AC at 45 to 65 hertz. There's also a button to activate enhanced LED brightness. The next phase rotation indicator is the PC15250. It has the benefit of not requiring batteries to operate, but does require contact with exposed live conductors. For added safety, the PC15250 is supplied with integral fused leads, crocodile clip and high-quality test probes conforming to GS38. Again, connection is straightforward. The L3 lead can be clipped to the L3 conductor, meaning that L1 and L2 probes with retractable sheaths can be safely applied by hand. The top L1, L2 and L3 LEDs will indicate red if a line voltage of between 50 and 600 volts at 40 to 60 hertz is detected. Correct phase indication is given by a red LED in the L1, L2, L3 sequence indicator, with the L1, L3, L2 indicator remaining unlit. All three devices are suitable for 1000 volt CAT3 installations and supply side CAT4 installations up to 600 volts for added safety. As well as these dedicated devices, there are a number of other Martindale testers that can be used to provide phase sequence indication in addition to their main functions. This includes the ET4000 and ET4500 multifunction testers which operate on voltages between 100 and 550 volts over a wide frequency range from 15 to 500 Hz. Just like our dedicated testers, these use three test leads to undertake the test, but in this case display the results on the instrument LCD. Another solution are the V25 and V28 voltage indicators. Because these are two-pole testers, the phase-to-phase -phase voltage and direction of rotation will have to be taken between each phase in turn. L1 to L2, L2 to L3, and then L3 to L1. They operate between 120 and 400 volts AC RMS for 50 to 60 hertz supplies. So we can see that Martindale have some great solutions for the verification of phase rotation.